this is how the multicam option works. If you select it and you actually have no multicam clips in the bin and hit transcribe, it will give you a warning that you uh, don't have any multicam clips. And the other way around, if you have it unchecked but you're in a bin that has multicams, it will do the opposite. Let's first make the multicam. So I'm going to move this off to the side. These are six clips. We'll select these three called Take One and go create new multicam using selective clips. And let's call this MC1. And this is very important. I'm sorry, it's not there. This is important that the angle sync is in time code. We discussed it before, so that's really the only way to make that work until Blackmagic expands the API if they ever do. And then the second important thing is move source clips to original clips bin because that's the only way for me to correlate which camera angles belong to what uh, multicam clip. So let's click on create. So what user has to do is also uh, is to rename this to match the multicam clip otherwise. I mean that's that's the criteria I use for uh, 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 making a connection between these two. If they're named differently then I can't do it. So MC2. MC2. So we have the uh, multicam checked. And uh, let's transcribe. Okay, let's click Simon. So these are the six clips that make up the two multicam clips. Uh, the, your web app really has no way of differentiating that they somehow belong to a multicam clip. To, to, to the web app, these are just individual clips. I make that connection later on when we download the uh, final, final Cut file. Oh, that was a big uh, M80 in the background. Four, Fourth of July is happening here, man. Let's transcribe. English. And the transcription is done. We can minimize this. Use the app window again. Attach. And let's move that off. The attaching is complete. You can see the transcripts here. And if you click on any of these, uh, it's a multicam clip. Now, the, the uh, obviously, the dialogue is going on at the same time in all three of these, so they're overlapped. And you can kind of see that in these uh, uh, marker ranges down here. Clicking on these will take you straight to where each one of these markers starts.